There are two things that I want to show before finishing. Uh, one is the, normally we use the conference tool. I take five minutes to show you how the money that you sponsor to the project is used, okay? In Lyon I did that, I did a report before. In Lyon I did the same and show it that we had some funds. And in the same Lyon conference it was agreed that those funds uh, would be used to sponsor some time for the developers. We asked him if he wanted to take part, he said no. We asked Deepak and he said no. So in the end we said okay, <coughs> let's uh, give some money to Carlos and Hensing. I did not say that, somebody said that. <laughs> And, uh, and we did, yeah? So the money, here, here is the, uh, this, is, this is the PayPal balance from year to year. How was the money, is, how was the money growing here? And here is Leon that we say, hey, we have a lot of money and we are not spending the money. So let's do something and it started decreasing and now we are uh, very close to red. <laughs> oh, we went red at some point of time. This is the sponsorship <coughs> received every year. And this is a sponsorship received every month. Yeah. This URL is published in, in forums, but uh, we can, uh, in the final notes of the conference, we can publish it again. Uh, the URL is public, yeah? Uh, as you can see, the amount of sponsorship monthly at this moment is around, this is September, October, November, is around $600 per month. That's what we are currently uh, receiving from donations. Uh, most of that are monthly donations, yeah? And here is what, December and January, uh, we received big donations because of the conference. So Hideaki, sex Hideaki, <laughs> sent money, and he said for the conference. Uh, Eugene sent money for the conference. So that's why you see these numbers exploded in, in December and January. And in the last tab, you can see the expense, detailed expenses, yeah? These are summaries of sponsorship, but the expenses are detailed line by line for any accountant that wants to review. We, we, we are and we want to be all the time very transparent about that. Uh, there is a, a sponsorship board here in this page in the wiki says, says that the sponsorship board are Thomas, Carlos and Hensing. <coughs> and we have a rule, internal rule, that less than $500 can be approved by two members, but more than that need uh, three members approval. And uh, here are the sponsorship reports. Here is what, what we say that uh, in Lyon we agreed to give money to Carlos Enhancing, so we started taking $1,000 monthly, $1,000 for Hensin, $1,000 for me. And we were just doing that until this, until October. In October we went red and we just uh, stopped it. Uh, Hensin and I stopped receiving money. That's not a problem. Um, and this is the balance at this moment. We have four thousand dollars in yesterday. We had this, <coughs> this amount, okay? Uh, we always mention that this initiative of uh, sponsorship was started by Chuck. And thanks about that. And there are here in the wiki. You can see that there are some active PayPal donors. We, we say, uh, in the, no, this is in the web page. 
The active PayPal donors we consider the people that uh, sponsored the last three months. Yeah. So this is the list. We, it's not very long, so we would like it to grow if possible. But but uh, also important to say we 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 appreciate the money, but we appreciate also a lot any kind of contribution. When when you go to the wiki and create a page, that's very appreciated. Uh, Norbert uh, is a different kind of contributor, and in, 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 in we don't miss your dad, yeah? But he, he donate his time and the time of two developers. I think more than half time, probably, yeah? Every month, yeah? So it's, it's another kind of, of a sponsorship that we, we had in a different page that is a sponsorship of developers. People that get developers and put them to help with the project. That's very appreciated too. And, uh, and we have, yeah, different kinds uh, of a sponsorship. Uh, there are also people that donate servers. Yeah, the minimum is time, yeah? Donate time to, <laughs> to do things. We want, as the marketing committee, <coughs> where is that? Contributors, organizations, yeah? Yeah, in the marketing committee, we want to promote, especially, the companies that contribute more. And it's a, it's a goal of the marketing committee is to, yeah, we need to promote our, we call them our makers, is the companies and people that make Eden Pierre happen. Without all these companies, it won't happen or it will happen at a very slow pace probably, yeah? So these companies here, there are, there are a lot, yeah? These companies are what we call the makers, the, the companies that make it happen, yeah? And there is a, we, we have identified there are thousands of companies that are not in this list and we want, we need <laughs> all these companies to be on this list, hopefully, yeah? So it's an invitation to everybody to participate in the community. Diego also created a nice place here, how to get involved in Idle Pier, yeah? There are many ways. You can be part of the core team, you can donate, you can create plugins and contribute plugins, you can give support in forums, you can contribute documentation, tests, etc. Yeah? So there are many ways to contribute. Yes, sir. So, Diego, correct me if I'm wrong, please. From a... From a donation standpoint, one of the things we talked about was if we could have a goal, is it okay to share what I, what I think is the goal? So, if we, if everyone who made a living off of I did here, included, could give their country's equivalent of a hundred dollars USD, which would be, di it would be different for the Philippines, or it would be different for Japan, or it would be different for wherever. But if everyone who made a living off of I did here would contribute a hundred dollars per month, I feel like, from a financial standpoint that would give us a, a base by which we could establish a budget to help make the project grow. So I offer that as a suggestion um, or an idea. And uh, if I see uh, from the support point of view, because uh, before coming to the conference, I'm trying to register as a professional service provider for the item pair. But I didn't see any registration that because of there are so many uh, people are as working as implementers over here for identifier implementation, right? Like the Gaurav's company or something like that. But there is nothing <coughs> that mentioned in our identifier website that these are the companies who are the real implementers who are providing the support, right? 
So if we bring these companies implement on the board, on the website, maybe whatever the revenues the companies are generating, suppose I am generating from the uh, customers coming from this, maybe uh, one uh, ten percent or five percent or ten percent of the revenue whatever they are earning, they are happy to donate to the uh, community, ID per community, right? In this way, because if suppose customer wants to implement IDM fair, they don't know where to go now. Okay, because see, take the my example. I want to register as uh, when we say for policyquel.org, there is a support professional services page is there where we can register and put my company name. So when the customer wants for uh, ORG site uh, support level, so they can go for the for India, the Asian is there in Bahrain. XYZ is there in US. XYZ is there. So here, that part <coughs> I see the missing part, and maybe we can add. There are so many implementers already in there, but customer not getting updated, right? And maybe we can have a plenty of option to generate revenue as well from the <coughs> implementers. I can give my point of view of that is. I understand what you mentioned and other projects do it different. In EdenPR, we think we do it the other way. Yeah? Is you must participate in the community, you must do things like this, and you will get noticed and you will get in the list. Yeah? That's our job in the marketing committee. Yeah? To notice, to uh, credit give credit to the people that makes the project happen, yeah? And it's not just, we, we don't want it like, it's just like buying a place on the list. It, it, no, we, we want active contributions to make these things happen, yeah? Uh, I don't know if I am saying it wrong. No, no, uh, it's right. I, I will just like to clarify when we, we decided to show the top makers, uh, that's what the list is about. We created tags to know this is an implementer. And this is done in a way, uh, or another projects like vendor driven projects usually use like paid memberships. You paid to be a goal partner of X project. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, that's not the goal of the project per se, it's not like give us our money and we put you on our website, it's more like let's collaborate, it's, it's, a, it's a sense of community, it's uh, you help me, I help you, like it's a win-win situation but we don't want to charge something just to post you here, we would like to show here those who we believe or we identify that uh, contribute the most back to the project that are really actively contributing so this is the list not all of them are donors uh, some of them are but as we said uh, Logilite is an implementer they contribute code expertise uh, you can see here uh, they are end users but they are top makers because they contribute tests they contribute uh, donations as well. Eugene is so active in the community. Is is when we thought about this initiative, uh, we decided to do it this way because it's more like let's let's work together. Not not pay me to belong, but more like let's create a nice interaction, nice relationship between the project and the companies. Yeah, Is that. Yeah, yeah. If from that point of view. For registration, there is more charges. I am not talking the registration means to get on the board, we should have some charges there. Open source doesn't charge. <coughs> At least companies will come to know. Suppose companies want the XYZ services from the identical application support or the DB support. Where do they find? So at least you should have a one plan, <coughs> some registration of the com uh, organization. Okay, these are the companies. They can put there for the company information and they can go. Yeah, but, but, but the other thing is, uh, from my, like, from our point of view, when we discuss this with the committee, uh, you see, for example, Chuck and Deepak and mm -hmm. the guys from Cloud and Pierre contributing so much back and, and put them in a, the same list as some implementer in China that we never heard of. They 
never show up. It, it wouldn't feel kind of fair. And also as a project, we kind of know and can be sure that these guys follow the rules, the guidelines. They try to stay close to the project because if we put here an implementer that we don't know about and they do a bad implementation, it's not the image of their company who's been damaged, is the Im image of the project. The people will say, IDMPR sucks, not this implementation sucks. They will say, IDMPR doesn't work. So for us, it's, it's kind of a, a way to say, okay, you have been working together with the community. We know you are, you are trying to protect the project. We, we know you are a good implementer. We kind of know how you do things. So we are not uh, risking the project's image so greatly if we put you here. And, and, and I think I, at, the, at the beginning of this page it says, we encourage anybody that wants to hire services from EdenPR to a sponsor to contract these companies because they make EdenPR happen, yeah? So, uh, Norbert, Norbert, Norbert takes a big cost to, to contribute, <coughs> to help the project grow and framework and all of this, yeah? But it will be very expensive for Norbert if somebody that doesn't contribute a lot is on the list and take the contract instead of him that put all the effort, yeah? The other company <coughs> didn't put any effort. Get the contract, take the money, and, and he is putting all the effort. So that's why we we encourage and ah yeah, is there. We encourage you to contact companies on this list, and and we have we expect that this also encourage encourage the companies to want to be on this list. How contribute? Not, not, not money, there are many ways to contribute. Yeah? Developers, plugins, participating in discussions, getting in Mattermost and answering when Norbert asks strange questions. <laughs> yeah? Answering that is a contribution. Because sometimes we ask things, nobody answers, and we don't know what's happening. Supporting forums. Documentation that we talked yesterday about documentation and we created a group. Uh, all of that, we need all of that. The money is one way, it's important way, but it's also like the easiest way. And it's valid, okay? I, 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 in, in the middle of this, I want to mention that we have sponsorships from, really, from $2 to $500 monthly, yeah? Every contribution is appreciated, yeah? Every. There is a guy that sponsored $25 monthly, and that looks like a very small amount, but he has done like eight years, I don't know, yeah, since the beginning of the initiative. So he's now one of the top sponsors there, because he just did monthly, yeah, a small amount. It's like constant work. And, and don't, don't, don't be shy about all that you can do. Yeah? If I, sometimes I feel that people is scared. No, we are, we are very open to it. If you go to Matermos and say hi, we will say hi <laughs> for sure. And we can talk about the project or the functionalities. And if you want to talk about the weather, there is another channel for that. It's value. It's community. We want to to do that. Uh, we have in, in the marketing committee. We have hosted meetings. For example, we tried an initiative that was uh, weekly to do a 15 minute meeting, and that was good the first week, good the second week, and then faded away. People didn't attend, and we just say, okay, let's do it another way. But if the people is there, it's participating. And, and, and people that get into the meeting say, ah, I want to do something the next meeting. I want to show something. Yes, you have the space, and we need the space. So 
many ways to do. And how long are you still so <laughs> You need to say as a diverse. <laughs> I, I just want to illust illustrate in dashboards. Let's say everybody was happy, dashboard is nice, helpful, useful. Yeah. Imagine we start work on this uh, uh, August last year, and approx four months we work, let's say, 60, 70 percent free person. Maybe me more because I am visions, I am not sleeping, sitting on that, and so. So this cost me, for example, approx 25,000 euros until now. But still is not in the core. If I would like to get into the core, then I need help. We need much more a complex concept because if we make the dashboards, this must be works 100%, let's say. We haven't at this moment logarithmic uh, uh, axis. We haven't suffixes. We haven't custom color schema. We can do nightly dashboard because it's nicer. We are able now to log in by token through web UI. I forget to show yesterday. So when our customer asks, okay, and can we use this dashboard in the warehouse? Okay, we have an idea. Oh, we have token on REST. We create new type, which was contributed by Logilite eight years ago. We are using this uh, module. And uh, we were able to use in the warehouse web UI. So we don't need more than just that K. But if you want to get uh, K, P, uh, what is the name? We've spoken about the superset and Tableau, and there is also a K clip folio. And clip folio is very simple and super example what features we need. <coughs> and if we need this, yes, you will have a very good dashboard. But this will take maybe the communication is sometimes slow because everybody of us has own uh, main uh, job. Let's say we are uh, making money only from this our company and uh, Carlos too. But uh, sometimes the priority is SSO with uh, Deepak. Sometimes uh, our coder now working on the record ID editor, which is the breaking news also. So somehow we need to cover this. So if I say okay. We need somehow to cover the dashboard improvement. This will cost maybe additional 40,000, 50. Maybe it looks a big number, but uh, if you see those numbers like 600 monthly, if I'm going to work on the road, I can get this amount. So our work is much more uh, <coughs> expensive, but exactly what we are asking and what we are talking about is uh, to somehow uh, if you want to get into the list, as Carlos <coughs> said, uh, the many ways how we can do that. Because we, we give, I, I don't ask money, I say, we, get, uh, we would like to happy to get dashboard back and use, and every implementer save maybe on the implementation 10,000 euros because don't need external BI. <coughs> okay, 10,000, give me 1,000 each of other, all, then we will have covered this project. I'm not, uh, Asking no for money, just uh, an example how, compl how, how complex it is. Because we are not hacking the code, but we are working and following the community rules. Uh, just an example, uh, because this was like favorite, uh, how it looks and uh, nice and so, but uh, still a lot and lot of work. But we would like to get there, because our maintenance still will be less if many users send back uh, the feedback. Let's say, Nicolas, uh, we create, I show yesterday the, the KPI status on based on status line. And send, he sent the report from French. There is a CSS problem. He, he can fix it, but this cost a lot because he don't know this part of code. We know it. So maybe tomorrow we will fix it and two days later we'll be in the core. So this is, this is something. If it works, we will have a successful product. Okay, thanks. Thank you. As a question regarding the, the contribution, if I, uh, if I wish. Okay. Regarding the contribution, if I uh, wish to uh, contribute in uh, developing the 
the Arabic version of the right to left uh, feature of the Aydin peer? Is it uh, a, a contribution for the Aydin peer? There is a wiki page with the localizations in the people that maintain it, it's listed there as maintaining yeah, Some examples oh. are there, I will close it for you. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we spoke yesterday about that. Uh, it is not up only about add, uh, like uh, ZK has the flag uh, yes. displayed this way, but uh, let's yeah. say they will really compare the other changes. Yes. Of even that maybe are not prepared. Yes. Yeah. This is my the second question. What's your advice as a cont uh, contributor in uh, item here from the perspective of the development? What's your advice to take into consideration when I start my objective, this, this object? So, I mean, uh, Hadidi, okay, look at uh, this framework. Uh, maybe uh, use this uh, standard. Maybe uh, when... Um, re uh, um, um, re re rebuild the component, uh, take this um, APIs. Any advice? I will appreciate your advice. About, about development, I think the, 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 the my advice would be just jump in and go to Mattermost and ask. If you say, hey, I want to learn about how to do changes in code, what do you advise me and we can say what is your level of expertise and give you some easy tickets at first and guide you. We do mentoring too, yeah? Okay. It's, it's, it's part of wha what I understand. We need more developers. We, we, are, we are three, four core developers, but not because we are closed. It's because we, we want more, but don't arrive, yeah? We want to be 50, 100. <laughs> Just want to mention. Sure. Regarding this localization, maybe my suggestion, before reaching the technical team, you can write your expectations uh, because you, you are familiar with the specific needs. It's, it's not a simple localization as we have been talking. So it, I guess it is worth to have like an, a quick requirements uh, summary so you are expecting this one in the UI, you are expecting this one in the reporting, something. Because that would be easier for the technical team and they can check, okay, this one is out of the box, this one requires some sort of investigation in ZK, this one requires something else. Maybe. I disagree. <laughs> uh, let me tell you why. Uh, because it, it is something that we don't have in the project. We the easiest way to get people to contribute is if it's easy to contribute. And it's not easy to develop in either thing, yeah? So if, if, if you say, first do a requirement process official, then it will be more difficult, yeah? So my advice would be just jump in, yeah? Get your feet wet and say, I found a problem in this window. Uh, the message is not translatable right to left. Ah, okay. Uh, we, oh, please open a ticket. Probably that will be the answer. Please open a ticket. And we need that we need to change the message to make it configurable. Yep. And if you say, I want to learn how to do that to, to contribute it, we gladly will show you how to do it. Yep. Otherwise, we will do it, or somebody will do it, because it's an easy ticket. Yeah. Somebody can catch and, and, and fix it just to learn, some, some people do it. Uh, but yes, I think it's, if you, if you do the first, then you say, ah, this is easy, I can fix this 100. But please don't send a pull request with 100 changes. <laughs> uh, yes. Everyone, uh, because it is complicated, developers uh, don't have the time to how do we, how can we make a role in your community? How can you participate? Je yesterday we talked about documentation. That's a big gap in the project. Big. And we call it for documentation the last year. And the participation was very low. Very low. We, we, 
we were happy yesterday that we talked about documentation and it was better participation than in the documentation days that we did, yeah? So that's very important, it's a the big gap. Uh, testing, we have made test days before we do a release. We call the community to help with testing and we set up test servers. In the first test days, we are 30 persons there helping. The last ones have been less people, yeah? Maybe we had 15 last time? Eight. Eight, eight. So we need, it's an easy way to participate. It, and it's pretty easy, you don't need development skills. We have a, a document where you can follow the steps. We need to understand the product the the that's a nice way to learn the product if you don't know it is just following test uh, cases because we have a big document with test cases I learned it <coughs> uh, computer I think following test <coughs> cases that people wrote in, in support forums yeah people say this is failing for me and I I went and did what they said and ah this is how it's done. Yeah? So test cases are a way to learn. It's a win-win there. Uh, <coughs> so to close this topic, uh, it's an invitation to join. Yeah? We know that there are local communities hidden there. In Indonesia, especially, we, we, we have in mind that the top traffic of all the Eden Pier, the Eden Pier page, the source for space, the Oh, the biggest traffic comes from Indonesia. In, in the community, we don't have any visible person there. Uh, maybe if, if I ask here, people remember one name, probably. Yeah? An Aussie, an Aussie mother. Edwin. Edwin. Edwin, 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 Edwin too. <coughs> yeah? So, but there must be a huge community there. It must be because it's the top in every of our websites. It's the top. They must have a local community. And, and it's easy to come and join. Yeah. Let's talk. It is, it is good to have a local community, <coughs> but it's good to also to join efforts and, and come here. Record it? Yeah. We have 30 minutes hard stop. We have 30 minutes hard stop. 10 minutes. Yeah, 30. One thing. Huh? What 13. 13. 13 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So that was the invitation. Uh, in we have identified Indonesia. We have identified India. China has a local community too. Invitation to join. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Last topic is this. We say, we, we usually at the end of the conference say, people ask, what is the roadmap of it? And I made a joke some, I made a joke some years ago and I keep doing the same joke. I can do a roadmap. Yeah, I can say I want this and this and this, but without budget, without contributions, without developers, is just another wish list number, yeah? It's just that we, if, if we can make a big list and meet in four years and nothing happened, yeah? Uh, but anyways, the exercise is good for us because we identify the points that people want more. So the exercise is good, but it's like to lower the expectations, don't expect a roadmap and say, ah, then in two years we will have that. No. Doesn't work that way. It's like, like to identify potential. Uh, the top in the list in Lyon was REST web services. And now we meet and we have a very good REST web service. So it worked <laughs> in that point at least. So let's try. Who wants to add things to the list that are relevant at this moment? Ah, yeah, I know, that's what the, the third, is, third <laughs> is probably localization. Because 
Yeah, we need to do something with the UI. That I guess <laughs> we, we need to do uh, some work. So maybe it would be my, my suggestion is to uh, split what are the enhancements of the UI for Idempure. By get, I guess it's an urgent matter now, um, and and maybe we can target first to not include any other technology, just just trying to maximize what we can do with ZK until it, it's split what to take note? A split the scope. A scope. A scope. So the f the first stage, for example, is what is the maximum enhancements that we can perform with ZK. Okay. And after that, we can validate it. Maybe we can do something else, but yeah, just yeah, to yeah. be realistic. You, so you are, okay? You are, you are enhancements. <coughs> enhancements. Yeah, because it's too, too, too many people is asking for that, I guess. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to want multi I, I was sure. <laughs> <laughs> multi <-bus laughs> one. I mean make a UX with the UI because as my experience in, in the software development all of us uh, the background of technical okay uh, concentrate on the system centric uh, approaches of the system uh, of the software development not a user uh, centric so please just a, yes a UX a user experience uh, who wants to uh, do any functionality using the ERP, the end user. I don't, uh, I don't mean the end user, the company, the client, no, the, the employees in this company. So taking the consideration, it's uh, user experience, user journey using the IT. Uh, uh, invitation also, if you have experience with user experience, <laughs> uh, it's appreciated. Uh, here I think the person that Pull more about that topic is yes. Norbert. Yes. So, so you, you 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 are welcome if we help if you help to pull also. I'm a lot of either I sometimes analyze or mm -hmm. service now other systems and uh, exactly there are a lot of space. I know the first is the annoying uh, uh, parts uh, which is uh, slow down the work. The second is missing uh, piece like uh, uh, typical. So the, what the typical user need to be uh, comfort? That is the list. I need help because I have my idea. I have my customers. But let's say if I have customers in the <coughs> transport management or the automated warehouse, that is another than Steven has on the accounting part. So, but because this is ERP and we have in the core ERP, then exactly the the accounting things must work. So Steven also uh, has some ideas what uh, we need to get to be a serious ERP and accounting. Also including UX, but uh, this is the list. For example, in dashboard I have maybe approximately 100 table in our portal. I show to Deepak. Where is Deepak? Where is that? Here. Ah, there. <laughs> uh, find <laughs> ideas. <laughs> okay, I show him uh, ideas. Because I did analyze research on many systems, metabase, everything, and I give my priorities, which is for us is important. <coughs> but if uh, we collect this, what is UX problem and uh, what is uh, like missing piece? Maybe the users they are working like Chuck know this also much more because he using the system a lot. And also uh, we have some suggestion from uh, brother. Uh, then uh, this help a lot because we have a lot of ideas, but the priority list is really important. This is a big topic, yeah. but if you identify a small change that makes life easier for users, it's good to do that change. No, no, you don't need to do a hundred things. Yeah. If you it now one change, you can say uh, maybe, maybe this maybe change it's can. It's maybe another big topic for the world related to the security enhancement. No, no. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I just want to mention that one of the important things here also is trying to, trying to scope, trying to narrow the scope of these activities. So, for example, US, 
is good. I agree that it's required, but it's a really big thing. So maybe we can go like phase one or phase two or something like that later on. That's why I divide it. In, a, in an ideal world, I will be doing UI, UX together or something. But I know what that really means. So for example, we can target UI and it should be something, I don't know, three months, four months effort with some developers or something like that. And once you see that, you see that something is moving for that. With the UX is similar, so, but we need to be careful that we are not maybe including too much scope because it will be difficult to, to, yeah. to manage. Well, if you open the ticketing, I mean uh, Jira, you can see a lot of UX uh, already created or <coughs> waiting pending. So. so you can make a vote or label, I don't know how we can Anyone else to was Stability under high loads. You promised several tickets, yeah? Under high loads. I liked, I am excited to work with Ricardo to, to have, as a, for the community to adopt Ansible. I think is a good automation. Automation. Mm. And I think sort of sort of a, a, a common thread between those two is that one of the things I hope for in the next conference, by, by the next conference, is we are able to take the documentation team and create more best practices type documents. And it goes back to security and <coughs> updates and Ansible plays into that and just sort of make it easier to understand what is best practice in terms of having a healthy idea here. This is a second line, no? yeah? It's just, I don't know. It's just, <coughs> I, 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 think, yeah, I think documentation for best practices, I think. Specifically. Best practices applies to mm -hmm. everything, yeah, to. Maybe even uh, why she get it. Mm -hmm. Why yes. she? That's the what? one I've got to work on. Why she? Ah, Maybe in this case we can video. Is it possible by SQL we commit a documentation about that? How you can do that? There is an exact description how you can uh, yeah. partition the tables. Okay. We are Thanks. using on the chain now. But okay. uh, it can be done by Java. This is like a bit, uh, we are close to yeah. who give more. <laughs> this uh, ZK uh, summarization because we need many things was changed, but still a lot of them uh, that a lot of, uh, still a lot of damage uh, objects, so that is still a problem. Yeah, but we know this. Based on permission? Huh? Based on permission? Ah, yes. What? Test automation. Test, test, test. That? Sorry. <laughs> Test automation. Yeah, we we have the we have the base, but we need more tests. Yeah. And actually. And and Murilo has is is leading the fitness. We also uh, with Frank. Murilo is working working with Frank with the fitness a bit about that. Yeah. So, how can we make it like a, a repository for test automation? Can we say repository? And everybody <coughs> can contribute, right? Mm -hmm. A test cases. Like a script, and uh, we may create a shoot complete. <coughs> yeah. One month holiday. Hmm? One month holiday. <laughs> really? Where, where, where do you want that? <laughs> uh, the costing recalculation process. So everybody has problem with costing. X, X. Uh, St Steven? 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 Steven wanted to say. Uh, what I would say was that I would say that Arabic localization, the multi dashboard. Uh, two things that might make ADEM here as easy as 
sale to a new organisation. Every other one that's on the is the technical thing which won't have any impact at all about getting somebody to adopt by their team as their application of choice. And that's part of that problem. What are we going to do to make, what can we add to make it an easier sale to prospective new? I, 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 I will add my, my, wish, my wishes. Functional teams, ownership of modules. Yes, take take that from Hensin and me, and somebody lead functional modules, and we, we will be really happy. The sooner we go into a new site, talk to your customer, the first thing they're likely to do is show them functionality using Gather as well. And then we show them reports which have 500 columns in no particular order that was having meanings to them. And yet we could invest, I could invest some time to try and modify all those things so that they were meaningful to a user when they looked at it and we showed it to them. But there's no point in doing it unless we've also got a way of getting that back into the full system. I don't know if other people think that would be valuable or not, but that's must I take that in one line? How do you uh, summarize it? Garden World Temple data, right? Uh, huh. Sorry. Garden World Temple data. Yes, it's more than sample data. It's the way the windows are organized, what the way that <coughs> when we say click here and you get a report, what does the report look like? Le you know, this is, this is another thing that I would like to see. And Stephen <laughs> told me that Paul did something around this, so it would be nice to see yeah. his approach and see if we can uh, get something similar. Yeah. We got the code from Adaxa and we create the demo data generator. So you can generate 1,000 uh, orders for SaaS purchasing and you can have a big database. Later. Okay. Okay. I'm not taking the Sorry? Monitoring. Monitoring. Monitoring, okay. yes. Uh, that's the last one that I am taking. Now it's time for Chuck. Uh, let me close this. Monitoring. Monitoring. Okay. Let's see in in a couple of years about how how it went. Okay. Uh, I will close this. <coughs> and I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody for coming and participating and it's a pretty pretty fantastic group. Um, special incredible thanks to, to Goro. It takes incredible bravery to put yourself out there. It takes incredible work to organize this. It takes the uh, the combination of confidence and, and service to others and I think you embodied it better than not better than, as well as anyone that I know. You did a fantastic job. Um, these, these are becoming more and more important to me every time I come. I, I genuinely look forward to seeing you guys, and I appreciate you, and I, and I appreciate the opportunity to learn. I also am I'm sad for people who can't come, like Eugene, for example, when you find out they're a hideaki, when you find out they can't come, it's almost like a sense of loss. So speaking towards the, the sense of community, I feel, I feel lucky to be a part of this. And so for all those reasons, I hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you for everything, for the travel and the offer and everything else that you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. We were discussing about the conference for so many months and you kept that in a meeting, marketing meeting all the time. So that's why this happened. Thank you, Chuck, for encouraging. Thank you, everybody, for being so nice, even for the technical issues. Sorry. Thanks, Norbert, speci uh, specifically for being a guinea pig. OK? But yeah, thanks, everyone. And uh, I hope next time we have bigger community. And uh, just one thing, I guess having uh, just not the developer, but uh, customers okay, who are using users as part of the conference will add more to the more to it so i hope to see more of the end users coming to next conference thank you